welcome to part two what we are going to do is now we are going to do some increasing rounds and for that why what i'm going to do is i am going to make chain three one two and three and this starting chain three does not count as a first double crochet from now on uh, the starting chain three will not be counted as a first double crochet till the rest of the uh, what you call it pattern so what I'm going to do now is I am going to make one double crochet first of all it's better that if I place a stitch marker here so that I know where are bodice ends and where the skirt part begin so later on when i'm going to place um, a ribbon or whatever i'm going to place or use at uh, belt i know where i have to place it i can just remember it but for the sake of the video i'm going to place it here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one double crochet into the same stitch one double crochet into next two double crochets one two one double crochet into this chain two space chain two one and two one double crochet again into the chain two space one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two one double crochet into next three double crochets one two three one uh, double crochet chain two and one double crochet into this chain two space one double crochet chain two one more double crochet into this chain two space one double crochet into next three double crochets One front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end by making one double crochet into next three double crochets one double crochet chain two one double crochet into this chain two space one double crochet into next three double crochets one double front post double crochet around the post of next two double front post double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end and i will resume the video when i reach here slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet skip this starting chain three chain three one two three and make one double crochet into next uh, available double crochet we are not going to make any stitches here so make one double crochet into next three double crochets one two three and four chain two one double crochet again into the same chain two space one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three skip last double crochet and make a front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets 
one and two. Skip next double crochet and make one double crochet into next three double crochets. Skip this one and into the second one. One, two, three, and the fourth one into chain two space. Chain two, one double crochet into same chain two space. One double crochet into next three double crochets. One, two, and three. One front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochet. by skipping this double crochet one and two this is a pattern we are going to repeat from here to here by skipping first and last double crochet or first double crochet here making one double crochet into next three double crochet one double crochet chain two one double crochet into this chain two space and then one double crochet into next three double crochets skip this double crochet front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet skipping this starting chain three and then repeat this round which we are working on right now repeat this uh, round two more times and then i will resume the video again slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain three one two three make one double crochet into next double crochet we are not going to make any stitches into this one and one double crochet into next two double crochets sorry we are not going to skip any stitches because this is going to be our increasing round so i'm going to make one double crochet into the same double crochet where we have slip stitched one double crochet into next three stitches one two three we stitch our one double crochet chain to one double crochet into this chain two space one double crochet chain two one double crochet one double crochet into next four stitches one two three four one double crochet uh, front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two and now one double crochet into next four stitches one two three four we stitch into this chain two space one double crochet chain two one double crochet one double crochet into next four double crochets one two three four front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two 
this section is go this is the section we are going to repeat from here to here by making one double crochet into all double crochets one double crochet chain to one double crochet into chain two space again one double crochet into all of these double crochets and then one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 skip this double crochet and go directly into next available double crochet and make a double crochet into that and one double crochet into next three double crochets one two three four total four double crochets v stitch into this chain two space one double crochet chain two one more double crochet one double crochet into next four double crochets one two three four after chain two you should end up with five double crochets i'm going to skip last double crochet which is this one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two skip next double crochet one double crochet into next four double crochets one two three four and one double crochet chain to one double crochet into this chain two space chain two one more double crochet one double crochet into next four double crochets one two three and four skip last double crochet and front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets this is the pattern this small section we are going to repeat by skipping next double crochet making one double crochet into next skipping this one and making one double crochet into next four double crochets one double crochet chain to one double crochet into chain two space one double crochet into next four double crochets and then one front post double crochet around the post of next two double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and repeat this this round after completing now you we, i'm going to repeat two more times same round this round we are working on i'm going to repeat it twice and then i will resume the video again i repeated last round instead of two more times i have repeated it uh, three more times in total four times this is where i did my last increasing and after that i repeated the pattern um, this round for one two three four times now i am going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and this is going to be our next increasing round slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain three one two three and make one double crochet into the same double crochet 
वन डबल क्रोशे इंटू नेक्स्ट फोर डबल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर टोटल फाइव डबल क्रोशे वी स्टिच इन टू छ इन टू स्पेस वन डबल क्रोशे चेन टू वन डबल क्रोशे वन डबल क्रोशे इन टू नेक्स्ट फाइव डबल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव After this chain two space, there should be six double crochet on this side and six double crochet on this side. We are not going to include this starting chain three. One front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets. One and two. One double crochet into next five double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five. We stitch into chain two space, one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. One double crochet into next five double crochets. One double crochet. Uh, front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets from here to here is the pattern we are going to repeat by making one double crochet into next five double crochets one double crochet chain two one double crochet into chain two space one double crochet into next five double crochets one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 skip this double crochet the first one and work one double crochet into next five double crochets one Two, three, four, five. One uh, V stitch into this chain two space. One double crochet, chain two, one more double crochet. One double crochet into next five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. After chain two, you should have six double crochet on this side and six double crochet on this side. Skip last double crochet, one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets, one and two. Skip next double crochet and one double crochet into next five double crochets, one, two, three, four. Four, 
5 and 6. Uh, 5 double crochets and then a V stitch into chain 2 space 1 double crochet chain 2 1 double crochet 1 double crochet into next 5 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 skip last double crochet one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here by skipping next double crochet one double crochet into next five double crochet we stitch into that one double crochet into next five double crochets skipping last double crochet one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then this is the round we are going to repeat three more times i'm working on this round i'm going when it's done i'm going to repeat this pattern three more times and then i will resume the video again so instead of three more times i have repeated last round four more times in total five times this is the last increasing round i made and after that i may i repeated this round for one two three four total five times this is going to be also our increasing round so what i'm going to do is i have already made chain three I will make one double crochet into the same stitch the first double crochet and one double crochet into next five double crochets one two three four in total i have six double crochets into the uh, chain two space i'm going to make a v stitch by making one double crochet chain two one more double crochet and then i will make one double crochet into next six double crochets one two three four five and six after chain two space i should end up with seven double crochets one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two one double crochet into next six double crochets one two three four five and six we stitch into this chain two space one double crochet chain two one more double crochet and now one double crochet into next six double crochets one two three four five and six after chain two space i should end up with seven double crochet front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets this is the pattern from here to here i'm from this point to this point i'm going to repeat 
by making one double crochet into next double crochet one v stitch into this chain two space again one double crochet into next six double crochet six double crochet one v stitch into chain two space six double crochets and one double crochet into next uh, front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets this is the pattern i am going to repeat all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain three one two three and skip first double crochet and make one double crochet into next six double crochets one two three four five and six V stitch into this chain two space one double crochet chain two one double crochet one double crochet into next six double crochets one two three four five and six Skip next uh, uh, double crochet or last double crochet and make a front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two. Skip next double crochet and make one double crochet into next six double crochets one, two, three, four. Five and six. We stitch into this chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, one double crochet into next six double crochets, one, two. Three, four, five, and six. Skip last double crochet and one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets. One and two. This is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here by skipping next double crochet and making one double crochet into next six double crochets. We stitch into this uh, chain two space, which is double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then one double crochet into next six double crochets. Skip last double crochet, front post double crochet around the post of next two double uh, front post double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and this pat uh, this round which we are making right now we are going to repeat it i am working on it right now when it's complete i'm going to repeat it five more times in total we should end up with six of these rounds I will make rest of the rounds off camera and then I will resume the video again. Before I working on my next round, I thought maybe I should share a little bit weather update with you guys. This is how the weather is right now in Denmark. It's snowing. It has been snowing for last couple of days or you can say for last one week. But it's not snowing heavily and it rains. So uh, it rains also as... Um, almost all the time so the snow melts away but this is how it looks like right now it's snowing and uh, so back to crochet now so 
so now what I'm going to do I have completed the round uh, the round for six times now what I'm going to do I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then this is going to be our increasing round so I'm going to make chain three one two and three and make one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven we stitch into this chain two space which is one double crochet chain two one double crochet one double cr crochet into all of the double crochets before front post double crochet or next seven double crochets so one two three four five six and seven one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two one double crochet in all of double crochets until we reach the chain two space or into next not a seven double crochets one two three four five six seven one v stitch into chain two space one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet one double crochet into all of the double crochets until we reach the front post double crochet or one double crochet into next seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two this is the pattern this is the small section we are going to repeat by making one double crochet into all of double crochets and to reach until you reach the chain two space you are going to make a v stitch which is that you are going to make one double crochet chain to one double crochet into chain two space and then one double crochet into all of these double crochets and then front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets you should have after the chain two space and before the front post double crochet you should have eight double crochets one two three and four and then you are going to make one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets so repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again 
slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet we are not going to slip stitch on the top of chain 3 because that does not count as our first double crochet and now what I am going to do is I'm going to make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and skip this first double crochet and make one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven one V stitch into chain two space one double crochet chain two and one double crochet into chain two space and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six seven skip last double crochet front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two skip next double crochet and one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six seven and seven double crochet and then one double crochet chain two one and two and one more double crochet into this chain two space now one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets this is the pattern from here to here we are going to repeat all the way to the end and then we will what we are going to do is we are going to skip next double crochet and one double crochet into next seven double crochets v stitch into next chain two space one double crochet into next seven double crochets skip last double crochet one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then uh, slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and i am going to repeat this pattern i am working on it right now when it's complete i am going to repeat this pat uh, this round seven more times in total i should have seven round uh, Uh, I am working on right now after completing this round I am going to repeat this round six more times in total I should have seven rounds of this row or this round and then I will resume the video again when I have made this round plus copy of this round six more times this is going to be my last increasing round because now we are going to work on these rounds 
this is on this baby dress this was the last increasing round and then i just uh, what you call it made two more rounds to give the finishing look if you uh, don't like to make these rounds you can simply skip them i'm going to change the color and what we are going to do now is you can change uh, you can attach the color anywhere you want to just make sure that it's the double crochet after the first double crochet after the uh, front post double crochet so I'm going to join it here you can join it anywhere this is the double crochet right after this um, front post double crochet so I'm going to join there and chain 3 as you know that um, chain 3 does not count as a first double crochet so I'm going to make chain 3 and now I will make one double crochet into the same stitch same double crochet and one double crochet into next seven double crochets or until you reach chain two space one two three four five six and seven in total you should have eight double crochets v stitch into chain two space one double crochet chain two one double crochet one double crochet into next eight double crochets one two three four five six seven and eight after this chain two space you should end up with nine double crochets one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two now we are going to this is our chain two chain three starting chain three from the last round we are going to skip that and we will make first double crochet into next available double crochet one double crochet into that and one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven in total eight double crochets before chain two space and into chain two space we are going to make one double crochet chain two one more double crochet one double crochet into next one double crochet into next eight double crochets one sorry i'm having some trouble with the light i'm trying to adjust the light Okay, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets. One and two. This is the pattern we are going to repeat from here after the last front post double crochet uh, after fr uh, last front front post double crochet to here by making one double crochet into next eight double crochets. V stitch into the chain two space, one double crochet into next eight double crochets, one front post double crochet around the post of next two double crochets. Repeat this this pattern all the way to the end, and then I will resume the video again. <clears throat> Slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Skip first double crochet and make one double crochet into next eight, eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. V stitch into this chain two space, one double crochet chain two, one double crochet, one double crochet into next eight double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. After chain two space, you should have nine double crochets. Skip last double crochet and one front post double crochet into next two stitches. One and two. Repeat this pattern. <coughs> 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 All the way to the end by make, skipping next double crochet, making one double crochet into next eight double crochets, V stitch or one double crochet chain to one double crochet into chain two space, one double crochet into next eight double crochets, skipping last double crochet, one front post double crochet into next two stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way to the end. Slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and uh, repeat this round as many times as you want to. Totally depends on the length, uh, sorry, width of the dress you want. And um, uh, plus we are going to make just one simple round, uh, uh, which is going to be the last round. It's very simple. We are going to make granny stitch um, here. And then uh, here into chain two space, I will explain that even now we will reach there. Just uh, repeat this pattern, this round as many times as you want to, totally depending on the length of the dress you want. And then uh, I will resume the video, then it's going to be just one more round. Or you, I can say that you can repeat this uh, row as many times as you want to until one centimeter of the length is left for the length you want to and then I will resume the video again. Slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet skipping this starting chain 3. Make chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and into the same double crochet the first one we are going to make 3 double crochets. One, two, and three.
skip next two double crochets and one granny stitch or three double crochet into the next three double crochet into the next stitch one two and three Skip next two double crochet and three double crochet into the next one, two, and three. Skip next two double crochets and into this chain two space we are going to make three double crochet chain two, three double crochet. One, two, and three chain two one and two and three more double crochet into same chain two space one two and three skip next two double crochets and into the third one three double crochets one two and three Skip next two double crochets and into the third one, two double crochet, three double crochets, one, two, and three. Skip next two double, skip next two double crochets and into the third one, one, two, three double crochets. One front post double crochet into next two stitches. One and two. Into the next available double crochet, three double crochets. One, two, and three. This round is very simple and easy. Repeat this pattern from here to here all the way to the end by skipping two double crochets and three double crochet into the next. Skip two double crochets, three double crochet into the next. Skip next two double crochets and into this chain two space. Make three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets. And a, and again on the other side skip next two double crochets one granny uh, granny stitch granny stitch is uh, three double crochets in one stitch so granny stitch in next skip next two granny stitch into next skip next two granny stitch into next front post double crochet around the post of next two double crochets so repeat this pattern into all of these sections this is our last round and after that slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet skip the starting chain three and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then that's it and then cut the yarn and um, weave in the end if you want to make it a little if you still want to make it a little bit longer maybe you can uh, repeat this round as many times as you want to and I will make rest of the round off camera and then I will resume the video when we are going to work on our uh, what you call it uh, neckline slip stitch now we what we are going to do is we are going to work on our uh, neckline because if you can see it's a little bit rolled up it's a little bit curled up so we are going to make it a little bit more even and giving it we are going to give it a finishing look for that what i'm going to do is you can join the yarn into any of the stitches but we are going to join uh, we are going to do the front post join by inserting the hook from behind into any of the double crochets chain three one two three 
and chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet so we are going to make one front post double crochet into each and every double crochet like that simple plain front post double crochet into all of front post double crochets and plain double crochets like that repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet skip this starting chain 3 so baby dress is ready now the only thing i'm going to do now is that maybe uh, i don't know if i'm going to make a belt and attach it here or i'm going to use a ribbon to uh, use as belt here or maybe i will make simple cord with the yarn by making chains and attach it here and maybe i will make and attach a cord here as well as i did on this one like here so maybe i will do that or maybe i will skip that i don't know right now but uh, uh, the main thing is that the baby dress is done it's complete now one thing that uh, is missing is that to give it a little bit more finishing look and for that what i'm going to do i will block it so that it will give it more even and finishing look to our dress but this is how it looks right now it's not possible to show the whole dress in one frame because it's too big and I can't uh, capture it in uh, my camera uh, at once so that's why uh, but still this is how it looks and uh, it's not done uh, yes it's done but the uh, only thing I need to do is maybe to do something here maybe a cord or whatever as I explained earlier this is how it looks and I will show you guys the other one as well so that maybe this one will be shown a little bit better because of the color this is how it looks from the top and this is how it looks on the rest of the dress um, I would say thank you so much for watching I always 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 try my level best to make my videos as detailed and as simple as I can uh, but still if there is something that is a little bit confusing or anything that you guys did not understand please comment below and ask me any question you have regarding this dress or if there is on any point in any of the uh, wrongs if there was something you guys did not understand please comment below i will try my level best to help you guys because uh the basic thing is that you guys understand the video very well uh, because not everyone is on the same level of the crocheting maybe some of you are new maybe some of you are yeah, what you call it uh, a little bit um uh, what you call it because i started learning crochet 10 years ago so maybe my level will be a little bit different than anybody who just started uh, and maybe my level is uh, someone who started crocheting maybe 20 years ago so of course their uh, crocheting level is way better than mine and i'm not perfect i'm just trying my level best to make my videos as simple as i can um thank you so much for watching uh comment below if there is any question or anything that you guys did not understand i will try my level best to help you guys and um, if you like my if you like my video and if you think it was easy to follow please subscribe to my channel like my video comment below thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting peace be upon you all